Hi, welcome to Medical Coding Club. And if you are going to write CPC exam in 2023, you should subscribe my channel because I'm going to provide you all the tips and short notes and practice paper. And you know, I, I will simplify the things that are uh, making you feel it is really complicated. So let's start with the zero series today. And I'm going to update uh, each series notes and practice question as well. So please subscribe and support. So let's start. So today I have chosen Anastasia and the code range is 001002019990. So how to have a basic knowledge. What is Anastasia? Anastasia is a temporary induced loss of sensation or awareness using anesthetics. It can help you to control your breathing, blood pressure, blood flow and heart rate and rhythm and mainly it blocks the pain. So there are three types general anesthesia which can make you complete unconscious regional anesthesia in that there are three subtypes that is epidural spinal and nerve block so which helps to to block the sensation of the pain from large area like such as arm or leg and abdomen coming to local anesthesia numbing is the specific part of the body or a local area. So this is local anesthesia usage. So time reporting is very important concept for your CPC exam. You will definitely get a question regarding time reporting. So here is a guideline which says anesthesia time begins when anesthetologist begins to prepare the patient for the induction of anesthesia in the operating room and ends when anesthetologist is no longer in personal attendance that is when patient may be safely placed under post-operative supervision so this is a guideline when we are encountering the scenarios for time reporting we should remember the guideline so here is a scenario a 60 Three year old patient met with accident diagnosed as a right hip dislocation. He is taken to the operating room and the plan is hip reduction under general anesthesia. The anesthetologist begins preparing the patient at 10 15 am and at 10 30 am the patient is induced with the anesthesia. See here, anesthetologist induced an anesthesia at 10 30 am. But that is not a thing. We have to see when anesthetologist preparing the patient for that surgery. So that is a starting time. And coming to the anesthetologist is monitoring the patient vital CCG, pulse oximetry and capnography. The surgeon begins the procedure at 10.45 a.m. and complete the procedure at 11.15 a.m. The anesthetologist monitors the patient until 11.30 a.m. and he releases the patient to the nurse for post-operative supervision at 11.45 a.m. The patient is fully alert and taken to the ward. What is the total time should the anesthetologist charge for? So you, you have to see here when he started preparing the patient and when he leaves the patient to post-operative supervision so it's a clear-cut example he started at 10 15 a.m and he releases the patient to the nurse for post-operative supervision at 11 45 a.m so that's what guideline says so here is an option 45 minute 1 hour 15 minute 15, 1 hour 15 minute and 60 minutes and 1 hour 30 minute so 10 15 am started and 11 45 am is an ending time so if we subtract we will get 1 hour 30 minutes so this is the correct time reporting for anesthetologist 1 hour 30 minute is a correct answer so i will help you with other scenario 
so you just uh, pause and uh, read the question so here anesthesia time is 6 pm to 12 am and surgical time is 6 15 pm to 11 30 pm that means anesthetologist begins to prepare the patient at 6 pm and he left the patient under supervision at 12 am this is surgical time he started uh, a anesthetologist induced anesthesia at 6 15 pm and he completed procedure at 11 30 pm so we have to consider beginning and end of the procedure i mean supervision so the answer will be 6 7 8 9 10 11 I mean, yeah, six. So six hours. Six hours will be the anesthetologist time. So you don't have to see other options because you don't have to uh, struggle with CPT also when you know the guideline properly and it is completely based on time. So just get answer. Six hours. So the answer is A. So this is all about time reporting. Just keep in mind that we have to calculate time based on when anesthetologist begins to prepare the patient and when he leaves the patient to the supervision. So next concept will be qualifying circumstances. So these four CPTs you have to go through and when we will assign qualifying circumstances means when we met with the uh, circumstances I mean here if you see double nine one double zero says Anastasia for patient of extreme age younger than one year or older than 70 year so if you are getting the questions like one year baby, 10 months baby, 72 year old patient. At that time, this qualifying circumstances, this CPT code will meet. So you under that, you have a parental note. You have to read that. There it says C003260561 and 00834-00836. These codes all are included that one one year that age criteria is included in that cpt description so we don't need to add double nine one double zero again and these scores are uh, to calculate anesthesia anesthesia formula so this is an important concept just be aware of qualifying circumstances as well Next will be physical status modifier. It is really important and I'll explain you with this. P1 modifier says normal healthy patient. P2 modifier says patient with a mild systemic disease. That means controlled diabetes, hypertension, etc. Anything which is controlled, mild and patient with severe systemic disease. That means uh, uncontrolled diabetes mellitus or hypertension which is uncontrolled and that is severe. And P4 modifier says patient with severe systemic disease that is constant threat to life. That means the symptoms are leading to death. That kind of scenarios you are going to choose P4 modifier. So P5 modifier says a moribund patient which is not expected to survive without the operation. For example, patient met with a, a accident and now a provider should do some surgery otherwise patient will not survive. So in that scenarios, P5 modifier is eligible. And P6 modifier declared brain dead patient 
whose organs are being removed for the donor purpose that means we know that patient you know he is a brain dead and he will no longer live so we they are harvesting the organs at that time p6 modifier we can give so this is physical status modifier and these are the scores for that modifier to use in anesthesia formula again so hcpc modifiers also an important concept and these hcpc modifiers you will not find in cpt book you can find it in hickpick book and you should know all these modifiers well and you should know when to assign these modifiers uh, for example aa that means md individually rendering the service qi anesthesiologist directs one crna for suit one that means crna means the certified uh, registered nurse anesthesiologist and ad medically supervision for more than four suits QK medical direction of second, third, fourth. So in scenario, they will directly give that uh, sentence. And QZ CRNA rendering the service without medical direction of MD. This it means CRNA. That means that registered nurse she is only or he only giving anesthesia without taking MD direction. So MD is not there. Just uh, CRNA. That's nurse only doing. and crna rendering the service with medical supervision of md that means nurse is rendering the service but with the supervision of md md will be there and he will be guiding the nurse and qs for mac that means monitored anesthesia care then g8 deep complex surgical procedure under monitored anesthesia care G9 severe cardiopulmonary condition under monitor anesthesia care. So all these modifier you should know. And we'll see one scenario with. So here I have given examples which can you know phys you can see physical status modifier as well HCPC modifier. So here, healthy 32 year old with a closed distal radius fracture received monitored anesthesia care for an open reduction and internal fixation of right distal radius with cast application. What is the code for the anesthesia service? You just you know you can pause and you can go and check the CPT thing. But here you can see QS says monitored anesthesia care and P1 modifier says healthy patient. so this is how you can eliminate wrong answer when you know the concept well and second is an anesthesiologist provides general anesthesia for 72 year old patient with mild systemic disease when you see the 72 year old you should remember the qualifying circumstances guidelines and the cpt thing so 72 year old and mild systemic disease so mild systemic disease which modifier will say p2 modifier and 99100 says 70 more than 72 year or younger than 1 year so this is done and next will be this is an another example for hcpc modifier anesthesiologist medically directing two other cases and medically directs a crna here two modifier will get anesthesiologist medically directing he also doing he is also directing two cases at the same time he is medically directing crna also registered nurse also is guiding so two modifier medically direct crna will will be q x and other will be qk so the answer you know you just check the cpt thing for this pleura biopsy you will get this code 00540 and this modifiers qk and qx this is a thing related to that hcpc modifier and next 
uh, from the facts you know i have given here some important facts that you should remember from this anastasia section just go through this all the topic i mean points you will understand even better uh, this moderate sedation provided by the physician this is also important thing don't forget to check in the medicine section of this moderate sedations same pro same uh, same physician and different physician moderate sedation by different physician and moderate sedation provided by same physician will have different uh, code set and to report the regional or general anesthesia provided by surgeon use modifier 47 not when a surgeon doing anesthesia not anesthesiologist doing that time you will append 47 modifier to that cpt and that's all thank you i hope uh, i made it clear on few topics and please subscribe to my channel and support and from tomorrow i will be you know not from tomorrow uh, i i am thinking to upload each topic a brief note with example if possible i will update uh, twice in a week like that thank you please subscribe and support